Hey friends, it's Sonia with Junk Monkey Paint Company and welcome back to my daily vlog. You know that vlog that went away? Well, it's back. You guys have been writing in. You've been telling me, Sonia, I miss your daily vlogs and I miss vlogging and I miss creating these videos with you guys. But I gotta be honest with you, the last little bit, like the last six weeks, six weeks, I guess, eight weeks, I don't know, the last period of time, I just have felt like I have had the, um, I don't know, just the the world, like the, the weight of the world on my shoulders. And I haven't put out vlogs, I just did a couple, but I'm ready to get back into it. So if you've been missing them, be sure to tune back in daily because I'm gonna be here. So I have been getting creative this past week. You guys probably saw me do my kitchen, right? Did you catch that over on Facebook? I know that Facebook has its own world, YouTube has its own world. So some of you guys cross over and some of you guys don't even realize that there's a whole other world over there as well. But in Facebook world, I'm gonna share it with with you guys here as well in case you missed it. This was my kitchen before. Pretty cool, right? So I painted the cabinets. I did a whole paint job on my countertop with a certain process. I shared that over my Facebook page. I'll create a video probably just with that uh, technique alone for over here because so many people have been um, asking me questions about that. So stay tuned for that. But I did the cabinets, I did the countertops, and I laid a really cool flooring um, down. So what do you guys think, right? Bye bye plaid. See you later. I'm like 1970s, 80s called and they want you back. So I laid down a nice dark floor out here to match the rest of the hardwoods throughout the house. And I am very happy with it. When you do your space, you do you, I'll do me. But at the end of the day, just make it beautiful, make it feel cozy for you because you're the one, say it with me, who's gotta live there. So I was also busy on Facebook earlier today. We painted these live while Matt made supper. By the way, happy Mom's Day to you all. Matt made a delicious supper tonight for the entire family. I love home cooked meals and he did like a smorgasbord of tacos and fixins. Cause when Matt cooks, he doesn't just do one thing. He does like multiple sides quite, quite tasty. So he was busy cooking in the kitchen. That's where he gets creative. And I was cooking out here in my art room and I was cooking up something out here in my art room. And so we transformed these together. They were a brown, what I call brownie frowny. It's like a resin. And I got these at a thrift store when I was down at St. Augustine, Florida, a few months back. Oh my gosh, St. Augustine is calling me again and I will be going back. Um, but let me show you one that has a tag on to it. I got these when I was down there, the original tag. These came from Kohl's. They were $19.99 a piece. There were three of them and I got them all together. Took the whole, you know, trio home and they were $4 a piece. And so rather than keep them just brownie frowny, what I decided to do was do a dry brush over them. Actually real fast, I, I'll show you if you didn't catch the live on Facebook, let me throw it up for you right here. I'll be coming home Then I'll be at your door When I'll be coming home I plan to let you know The longing of my heart The wish I carry high Whenever we're apart It takes me through the night When I look deep into your eyes $4. 
four dollars a piece. Four dollars a piece, woohoo! So you know I had to take them home, right? They're gonna go into a uh, spare bedroom that I have and I think they'll look really nice and just really make the room feel fresh. Anytime you bring white into a room, this is the color vintage white, but anytime you bring any white into a room, whether it's white walls, whatever, it just somehow freshens the space up and just makes it feel very breathable. So yeah, the next time you're out junkin', which please come back junkin' season soon. Um, for me, it's not quite there yet, but um, I do miss out junkin' and thriftin'. But when you see good pieces like this, bring them home, bring them home, put them on your wall. When you're out and about, don't always look in the furniture section, but look over the shelves. And if you're decorating a booth or anything like that, you really wanna fill it up paint some great pieces of furniture and throw some fun little uh, bits like this, bits and pieces in through it. And um, it'll just pull together a nice space. And people can really, when you're trying to sell furniture as well, just an added tip is that when people can, when you make it look like home and people can visualize it in their space, that will really help because they can picture it in their space in a real life home setting with stuff on the walls like this. This past week, I also went back to the usual way I eat, like avoiding things like sugar. So I just feel really good as this week progresses. I just feel like I'm getting back to my usual self. It's made me wanna paint more and um, just get back into my creative groove. So getting my groove on. I've been doing some yoga. I shared that with you guys before. Um, over the last six weeks, just doing some yoga as well that has really helped. And I think now that we're at a period of time where even though we had snow this week, that we're getting ready to break. Like I know that spring is here. I know it's here. I'm pretty sure it's here. Um, and just knowing that you're in a season of sunshine and heat and we're almost there is also really good for your mindset. So tonight we got out for a walk. It was beautiful, it was sunny. And I gotta show you, I found this little um, cool like garden door in the neighborhood at another house up the road. You know when, like right now, because we're not quite in full bloom here just yet, when the leaves are off the trees, you can see things a little more clear. You can see houses behind trees, all that good stuff. And being out for a walk tonight was awesome for mindset, but also I love just getting out and for a change of scenery. And take a look at this. This is this little garden door that I saw with tulips in front of it nonetheless. So this is the first time for us experiencing spring here in this area and it is just absolutely beautiful. I love our neighborhood. I just appreciate old homes so much and I just couldn't be happier with where we are right now. And tonight just getting out and um, yeah, seeing the hostas bloom in the yard and the daffodils and the dogwood trees. Oh, I love dogwood trees. Just just so good. And then to top it all off, we got back tonight and our sweet neighbor um, hollered over the fence to us and said, don't go in just yet. I got something for you. And he delivered us a um, strawberry shortcake that he had made on the grill. Okay. Yeah. I'll just throw up a picture. This is the only picture I have of it before it was eaten. So how cool was that for him to share his strawberry shortcake with us? Good to have neighbors like that, right? <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get this vlog up today so we can kickstart um, getting our vlogs off again. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow, and we shall see what fun we'll get into together. Thanks, and take care of yourselves, will ya? Bye, and happy Mom's Day again.